Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to check on our African Nightcrawlers that are in the Urban Worm Bag. Now, it's been 30 days since my last update. I was trying to get to it a bit earlier and try to get it maybe every 14 days to 20 days, but running a little bit behind schedule this time, so we're going to work with it. I'm sure you've been seeing that I've been putting out some videos on the Vitamix Eco 5 composter that I have, and I'm really enjoying that system, and we will get to adding that stuff to my worm bins, but in this system, I want to stick with regular food. So we've got 3.5, 3 pounds, 5 ounces of food. We've got also something else that I've never done before, and that is a big bag of used coffee grounds from Starbucks. So I stopped off, I don't go to Starbucks very often, but we stopped off on my way down to visit a friend. I grabbed a big bag of them, and we're going to add a bunch of them to this system. Now, coffee grounds can heat up. I've had that happen before in my systems, and that's a good thing with African Nightcrawlers. They like hot temperatures. I'm going to be using this over the winter to keep this system warm, and that way it'll kind of hot compost. It's going to heat up, and it's going to build up that heat, and hopefully the worms will survive the winter really well as we get into these colder months. Right now it's September, but as we get into October, November, and then especially December, January, February, it gets cold here. My basement gets cold, and these worms really struggle. So we're going to try to change that this time. So with that, let's go take a look at the system over to the side here, get our food added, get our coffee grounds added, and get our bedding added, and see how these worms are doing. Let's go take a look. All right, as I said, it's been 30 days since our last update here. Let's go ahead and open this up, take a look and see how these worms are doing. So first off, not much moisture on the lid here. So that means it might be a little bit dry. I'm seeing some black mold. I'm definitely seeing mites over this uh, kind of plasticky, as you can see right here, it hasn't broken down at all. So this is sort of a plastic coating paint cardboard. I really wish they wouldn't coast, coat them with plastic, but they do. Not much I can do about it, but hey, you know what? I'll do what I can as far as, you know, making sure that I at least use it in my bins as much as I can. And hopefully this plastic's not going to break down and go anywhere. As you can see right here, we've got our cardboard on top. I think we're going to bury this in this time and try to just get rid of this cardboard that's on top. A little bit of mold up here. I do see some of these, uh, or these uh, millipedes. I'm trying to find it now. Right there. You can see there's a millipede. These guys are composters. They're fine. The centipedes you don't want. But overall system looks eh, kind of fine on top. No, nothing to really report. Lots of cardboard. I expected more of the cardboard to be gone than is, but uh, you know, whatever. Oh, we got some coffee grounds over here. They didn't get into that bag. Oh, a little bit of a banana peel left too, surprisingly. I really thought that they would have worked through this stuff a little better. We got a little bit of mold over here as well. Some looks like some white mold. I don't really worry about that stuff too much. Oh, we got more more coffee grounds. They didn't do a very good job of getting into those coffee grounds. Another thing of coffee grounds. Oh, we got our first worm here. Nice, healthy African night crawler there, it looks like. At least that looks healthy to me. It's moving around. No protein poisoning or anything like that. So, not as big as some of the other ones that we've seen, but healthy nonetheless. We got another, this looks like a part of an avocado. You got the shell right here, another that's a very, very big millipede that's on that one. He's having a good meal on that. He was in there, chewing around. Just kind of break that up, throw that off to the side. Let's just keep digging down in here. We I, I did throw some pine shavings in here last time. It looks like those are not breaking down very well. But it looks like a lot of the other stuff in here is. Look at these worms. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this one. There's a few in here. But look at this one. All right, the material in here looks, by the way, it looks fantastic. But look at this worm right here. And this is small for an African Nightcrawler. They can usually go all the way from the tip of my finger to the palm of my hand easily. So they're a little small side, but this material is just wow. Um, still got our corn cobs in here. They do. They are filled with, it looks like, uh, uh, ca ca uh, casting. So they're, they're working their way through there. But you can see just a whole bunch of worms right here. They do look a little bit dry, but they are working through this material really well. This material looks great. They are breaking it down. It seems like they like this maybe a little bit more than the cardboard. So let's just keep going here. Again, on this side, same thing. More worms. 
Nice big worms. I know it's hard to see right now because of the fact that it's so light over here. It's having trouble with the contrast. But, wow, they really look good. All right, let's move this over to the other side. That might make this a little bit easier. As things will brighten up, hopefully. As I said, we're going to bury this piece of cardboard in there. So we're just going to throw that off to the side and bury it. And again, not much happening. It looks like, up oh, here's another thing of, like, coffee grounds, it looks like. Yeah, coffee grounds. They're not, they weren't really crazy about those coffee grounds. I'm about to add more. Makes me worried a little bit. But also, this these uh, it looks like they, this was acting almost as a barrier with the way that they were drying out or uh, kind of solidify the, the paper and this, uh, what is that, the pine shaving, sorry. It seems like they almost kind of like created a barrier. So we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with that going forward. I think we'll have to make sure we add in just cardboard, I think. I don't think they really like the, uh, the pine shavings as much. Here's another nice, big, healthy African night crawler. So a little smaller than the others, but still a decent size. Just kind of going through here, just moving some stuff around, breaking things apart. Well, you can see, I mean, look at this material. This material just looks fantastic. I'm really happy with that. Again, lots of millipedes, lots of worms in here. You can see a whole bunch of them. They seem to prefer this really soft material in the bottom over the, the other material. But there's a whole bunch of them in here now. They've really multiplied well, which is great. I was getting really worried at one point because I had so few. But they've really multiplied in here. And they're starting to fill up the system and hopefully be able to take care of more and more food scraps, which is the goal. Although right now I also need them to take care of cardboard. I got tons of cardboard to go through. But again, it looks like the only thing in here really was coffee grounds and these corn cobs still. So they did a pretty good job of going through that food. We're going to mix this up again some more. Just kind of get everything mixed up a little bit in here. Break apart any chunks that we've got. It looks like, as I said, coffee grounds. It seems like they were not able to get into those coffee ground bags like they normally... Some of these other... Worms. They may have taken a little bit longer to, to get through. Maybe I should have broken them apart a little bit more. But we're going to put some fresh coffee grounds in here on top. We're going to see if they heat up. So there we go. First off, that's that. We're going to grab our food first. We've got a variety of food, as always. So it's always, a, it's always a bunch of coffee grounds in here. We get lots of coffee grounds. All right, so let's move that off to the side. As you can see in here, we got a full apple. That was probably rotten. You know, lots of coffee grounds actually in this one. I didn't realize how many coffee grounds were in this one, but apparently there's lots of coffee grounds, which is okay. Even if they take a while to break down, it's fine. I'm just gonna break them apart a little bit if we can. Grind them up. We got some banana peels in here. As I said, we're gonna add a lot of coffee grounds on top of this though, once we get this Going there, we go. Just trying to break these apart a little bit. We've got a cucumber in here, more banana peels, some grapes, grape stems. These do take a while to break down, but that's okay. They can create air gaps and they kind of keep things broken apart a little bit. So they can be good in a system, those grape stems, even though they take a while because they're woody. All right, let's see if I break this apart. We've got some tea leaves over here, more coffee grounds. I'm just trying to break these apart so that way they can, they're opened up. Another apple. Again, we had a couple that went bad. Some clementines. And cucumbers, another banana peel here. So this is this was a pretty light feeding, as I said. I mean, like we're going to be adding in those coffee grounds, so I don't really want to add in a whole lot of food with them, as I want to see how they heat up as well. These because they do heat up the coffee grounds. I've realized in some of the systems I've added them to when I had a coffee and uh, paper system at one point, they really did heat up, and the worms were trying to escape in, the, in a ten-gallon tote. So it's good to. They'll have a lot of room to escape in here if there's too much heat, but there we go. There's the first part of it. Now let's go ahead and add our coffee grounds. And let me just show you here. They've got these labels on it that say ground, uh, grounds for your garden. So that's what I've found at the Starbucks. It says they're free. And they this place had tons and tons of bags of them. I was quite surprised. At first I was like, it said free on them, and I was wondering if I was looking at the right thing because they had about 20 bags there of these used coffee grounds. Look at this. So we're going to add a lot of coffee grounds on top there. I'm not not me measuring this out at all. Just dumping a whole bunch in there. But I'm just trying to put those grounds off to the side. We're going to go ahead and break these apart. We want these nice and... So we don't want really... We don't want, we don't want hockey pucks like this. We don't want big chunks. We want them all broken apart. We want it like dust that we can sort of mix into our bedding material really. What that's going to do is going to help it get those uh, 
that mixture is going to help kind of inoculate. Not, well, I don't want to say inoculate. This is a nitrogen rich material. You're going to mix it with carbon. It's going to kind of hot compost. You can see my glove. It's been stuck on there a little bit. We're going to go ahead and wet these down just a little bit. I'm going to turn on my uh, my uh, little water gun here. Just rinse my gloves off. I'm going to get everything wet. There we go. Kind of saturate these into this into the soil a little bit, just like that. Now what we're going to do, and this is just on the surface. There's not a whole lot of water that comes out of there, so that's just really surface watering. We're now going to add some of our crushed crab and eggshell, which I have over here off to the side. Just give me a second here. I'm going to put my mask on. By the way, whenever you're working with crushed crab and egg, especially eggshells, make sure you wear a mask. This is a KN95 mask, or I'm sorry, this is an N95 mask. I have used KN95 masks in the past. Give me a second while I get this on. All right, there we go. I got it on. You got to make sure, you, as I said, you got to make sure you wear a mask. You don't want to ruin your your uh, lungs. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a whole bunch of crushed crab and eggshell in here. And especially around those uh, orange peels. You can see it's just sort of sticks everywhere. Let's say this is this isn't quite as fine as I normally grind it. Normally I grind it up pretty fine. This is a little bit thicker. You can really see the chunks a little bit more. But there we go. That is now covered. Now I am going to add something else to this system. Um, some bad news: our hamster passed away, and I've got a whole bunch of extra bedding here. So I'm going to be adding some of that to the system as well, just to use this up. Um, I did give some of this. The cage and some other stuff away, but this bedding material is, um, I think this one is really bad. It's very, very dusty. So I don't really want to give it to somebody else and have it ruin their, uh, their house with dust. So I'm just going to go ahead and wet that down a little bit. There we go. That's just going to hold that down. And now we're going to add our paper. And I've got my paper already pre-soaked. Probably some water is going to come out of here though with it. You can see right there, it's dripping out. As I'm trying to get this, there we go. I'm gonna break that up, break that out. And this should give the worms a lot of stuff, oops, a lot of stuff to work through. Sorry if you can hear the buzzing. I don't know why it buzzes like that sometimes. But, and if you can't hear it, that is the, uh, my, pump for water to for the sprayer that I have but I can hear it I don't know if you can or not hopefully you can't on camera or hopefully it's filtering it out there we go with that I think that is good I'm gonna spray just a little bit more water on top here clear off my glove a little bit more on top this was pretty dry not that the worms seem to mind let me turn off this sprayer since it drives me nuts and it kind of has a high pitch wine to it and now as we already buried in the other piece we only have one last thing to add to this and that is this piece right here we're going to add on top again just to kind of keep everything reflecting down and that is it for this update thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and hopefully those coffee grounds will kind of heat up this system especially over the winter and we won't see any issues that I've seen in the past with this system where it really cools down and then we, the worms start to die off. So we'll see. But that is my hope for this system is that these uh, coffee grounds that I've got will heat it up, keep it warm, and keep those worms working. So thank you for watching.